Hi, I'm Suhas Gandhi. And I'm Andrea Lee, and we're both from Thomas Jefferson High School in Alexandria, Virginia. Awesome. Do you guys want to tell me a little bit about your invention? Sure. So what we're working on developing is called a Motivate. It's a portable assistive device for combating autism. And essentially what it does is it addresses one of the predominant symptoms of autism, which has to do with difficulties in emotion recognition. A lot of children with autism have trouble interpreting emotion based on the spoken voice of the person they're speaking to. And so what a Motivate tries to do is take in the audio input of the person the autistic child is speaking to and extract the emotional signature from that voice and then display that emotion through an emoticon to the user on the bracelet, which you can see there. What it would sort of look like here. Um, and potentially, we could also write down the actual emotion, like happiness, um, underneath the emoticon. And how comfortable do you guys feel that this will work in the field? Because um, this is based a lot on learning software. So, so right now, um, we still have a lot of work to do. So the software behind this is called machine learning. And for machine, machine, machine learning is essentially matching inputs to outputs. And any machine learning algorithm has to be trained before it can be implemented. So we need a lot of data to train it, essentially putting in samples of audio that are tagged with anger or happiness or sadness. And right now, we have a very small data set. We only have a couple hundred samples. And we need many, many more than that. Thousands um, would improve its accuracy to the point that we would actually be comfortable with um, giving this to an autistic child and seeing if it would work. Do you have anything to add? Yeah, that, I think that covers most of it. So we've actually developed a application um, for Android users. Um, and so this is actually going to receive two second audio inputs and you can tag it with either neutral, happiness, sadness, or anger. And so in this way we're hoping to use crowdsourcing to actually maximize um, our current database of emotions. Awesome. Can you guys tell me a little bit about your guys' most me memorable mistake? Most memorable mistake? Yeah. Okay. Most memorable mistake. Huh. Um. Any problems with that? Well, we definitely ran into a lot. I'm just trying to pick one that would be good to talk about. Can you think of it? Can you think of it? Go ahead, go ahead. So, um, first of all, my name is Sarthak Sahu. Um, one, of the, one of the most mem memorable mistakes would have been when we were coding, and we forgot to include neutral as an emotion for the recognition software. So it was, having, it was forced to spew out either happiness, sadness, or anger. And we also had disgust as one of the emotions, and it was forced to spew one of those out. And even when there was like nothing playing, so that was like an automatic induction, in inducing error, um, the entire time. So that was definitely one of the most memorable mistake in my opinion. Yeah, that, that crucial, crucial for yeah, it all. So. All right, um, can you guys tell me a little bit about the day that you guys got the grant? Uh, the day we got the grant, um, so we got an email from our advisor, Mr. Hannum, um, saying that we got the money and. It was pretty exciting. We were all in class at the time, and we all got out of class, and we went to try and find each other. You remember? Yeah, yeah. We went to try and find each other, and we just kind of had a little reunion in the uh, in the hallway, just talking about the next steps. We were really excited. Can you guys? All right, you guys want to add a little bit? All right. My next question was, uh, if you guys could tell me a little bit about why you guys chose to solve the problem this way as opposed to a different way. So, are you going to go ahead? Sure. Well, so, as you has mentioned, this emotion recognition is a huge problem. And there are some current technologies that are out there that um, are sort of problematic in that they require user input and that they're not real-time and automatic. So, some of the key features that we are trying to accomplish here was that we are going to make a portable device that was going to be both real-time and automatic. And we've achieved all of those things. So, one of the big things about our device that we like about it as opposed to current products that are on the market is that it's going to actively be taking in these audio samples and analyzing it without prompting by either the user or the person the user is talking to. Um, and just kind of as a final question, can you guys describe Eureka Fest, each one of you, in one word? In one word? Yeah. Um, innovative. Um, Memorable. I was gonna go with unforgettable. Darn. Um, uh, exciting. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for interviewing with us. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much.